Given the outstanding record of our society in solving technical problems, it is overwhelmingly probable that great advances will be made in the control of human behavior. Will public resistance prevent the introduction of technological control of human behavior? It certainly would, if an attempt were made to introduce such control all at once. But since technological control will be introduced through a long sequence of small advances, there will be no rational and effective public resistance. Suppose the system survives the crisis of the next several decades. By that time it will have to have solved, or at least brought under control, the principal problems that confront it, in particular that of socializing human beings. That is, making people sufficiently docile, so that their behavior no longer threatens the system. That being accomplished, it does not appear that there would be any further obstacle to the development of technology, and it would presumably advance toward its logical conclusion, which is complete control over everything on Earth, including human beings and all other important organisms. Just as today the government, the corporations and other large organizations both cooperate and compete with one another, human freedom mostly will have vanished, because individuals and small groups will be impotent, vis a vis, large organizations armed with super technology and an arsenal of advanced psychological and biological tools for manipulating human beings besides instruments of surveillance and physical coercion. Only a small number of people will have any real power, and even these probably will have only very limited freedom. 